Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today's Wednesday, so it's watch your work on a Wednesday. It's also a national holiday. I don't know what number, because I forgot. <laughs> she's a little grumpy. But I wanted to take uh, just a minute to record this because she's snoozing. <laughs> she's a little grumpy though. Um, and I missed you guys, so I wanna check in. I'm feeling a lot better, and she's doing good. I look a little rough. <laughs> I'm exhausted, but uh, I'm on the mend, and she's perfect. <laughs> And uh, she's making noises. <laughs> but I wanted to, I, I made this cute little amigurumi today, actually. Uh, he's not 100% done, so he's technically a whip. I need to make his teeth. I tried embroidering them on, but I couldn't get it to look right. So I'm going to get some, um, uh, what's it called? Felt. <laughs> and uh, make his little teeth with it. But because today is February 2nd, it's Groundhog Day. And I've had this pattern in my stash forever. And I wanted to finally make it, so I made a little groundhog today. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, I, I think she might be getting ready to poop. <laughs> but uh, there he is. I did do his nose and his little, whatever that's called underneath the nose on animals <laughs> that connects to their mouth, you know, and they in drawings and things. But he's gonna have buck teeth. I just couldn't get him to look right. I, I embroidered him and took it out like twice. Um, but he's so cute. I didn't do a tail. I thought he was cute without it. I've been wanting to make him forever, so now every February I will, or January, <laughs> I will pull him out um, and set him somewhere for Groundhog's Day. But I just thought it was so cute. This is a free pattern by Lily's Sugar and Cream, I believe it is, and it's a PDF download, so I'll link that down below. And it's just cute. It's made with cotton yarn, but I used uh, Red Heart coffee. <laughs> and I did use Safety Eyes, but then I did embroider the nose on. So I just need to make his little, his little teeth. So that's what I was working on today. Um, I made it while watching some, me and Devin was watching cartoon earlier. Um, I made it while I was watching that and she was snoozing mostly through it. But uh, yeah, so there he is, I'll link him below. So that's my whip and also my national holiday cause it's Groundhog Day. So I know the one up in New York or New Jersey, Phil, <laughs> he, he uh, predicted more winter, but the one down here in the South, which I can't remember its name, um, predicted early spring. So I don't know if I should listen to the southern one or the northern one. <laughs> and also another one died. The the male one. Emil, male, something male, I can't remember. So today was an interesting day, groundhog wise. <laughs> I'm hoping spring comes early, but um, I don't know. The weather's been crazy lately, so who knows. But there's my little groundhog for <laughs> Groundhog's Day and my whip. So let me know down below what you guys are working on and feel free to share any links and things like that. Also, it's kind of dark in here. I should have turned on a little lot, but I'm just sitting here on the couch. There's baby paraphernalia everywhere. But here's June. Everybody's been asking about her. She's snoozing. <laughs> She's so cute. Mm -hmm. She was seven pounds, four ounces when she was born, 3.5. But you know, they lose weight when they're in the hospital. So when we took her home, she was actually um, six pounds, 15 ounces. <laughs> so she was tiny. I know a lot of people said, that's not tiny, but to me it's tiny. Cause you gotta think my only other baby was nine pounds and one ounces. He was huge compared to her. Jesse was a giant baby. He came home in three months clothes. She can't even fit in zero to three months. They're too baggy. We actually had to get newborn clothes for her and diapers, which are hard to find. The only newborn diapers we can find are Pampers brand. And uh, they're always not in stock. But anyways, uh, she's doing good. She's growing. She's definitely gained weight. <laughs> her little face has gotten plumper since we brought her home. She's a week old today. She was born last Wednesday, early in the morning. That that was a crazy story. I'll share that story with y'all one day when I have a chance to sit down and talk a lot. <laughs> but um, she ended up coming super, super fast. Like the nurse, no one was prepared for how fast she came. Uh, me especially. <laughs> I had a slight breakdown when I realized that um, it was happening as quick as it was. And the nurse had to deliver her because the midwife hadn't even gotten to the hospital yet. And it was just crazy. <laughs> but, um, we're good. Look at her hair. She has spiky hair. She still doesn't have as much as Jessie did, though. Because you can see her scalp when Jessie was a baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> when Jessie was a baby, you couldn't see his scalp. It was so thick. But um, I think she's wanting me to stop talking. <laughs> so I'm going to hop off here. But let me know down below what you guys are working on. And I'll hopefully see you guys in some more videos soon. Um, according to June, I guess. Because I'm, I'm working on her schedule right now. But uh, we're doing good, and I appreciate all y'all's comments and emails and stuff. I've been reading all of them. I haven't been able to reply to most of them <laughs> because there's so many. But, um, yeah, we're doing good. And now I'm going to 
figure out what she wants because she's a little grumpy. <laughs> she's sneezing, but um, she probably should wake up soon because it's later in the day and I want her to sleep good tonight. She actually is a pretty good sleeper already. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyways, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video hopefully soon. But who knows? <laughs> Bye, guys. You snooze in a way, huh? Let me get your hair. Spiky.